Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the X-Men Classics, or Marvel Legends X-Men Classics, Ruby Quartz Armor Cyclops with Optic Blast Action, which this battery is dead so it will not light up his eyes. So going over the package, it just says X-Men on the front here, it says the name of the Cyclops, it says try me, push down my head, see? And then on the top it just shows the X-Men on the top here, on the side it says Ruby Quartz Cyclops, and on the back it just has a quick... Um, little bio if you want to read it go ahead and pause and then it just shows how to change the batteries which I have not bought new ones for along with his little Gatling missile launcher laser thing that he has for his little gimmick um, yep so we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up and we'll check out the details all right guys so we'll see if he could stand while it rotates here's the ruby quartz uh, Cyclops will do a quick little 360 I'm hoping he'll stay standing it's actually a really cool figure very again with these uh, more gimmicky, you know, X-Men classics, Spider-Man classics, Hulk classics, uh, sidelines on top with a lot that went along with Marvel Legends and Toy Biz. They don't have, certain ones just don't have the best, I won't say all of them, but certain ones just don't have a lot of the best articulation. This is kind of a prime example of one of them, but still a very cool, interesting figure, a nice variant to add to your uh, Cyclops collection if you're a big fan, so go and check out the details. Alright guys, so first off, I'll go ahead and show off the gimmicky thing. Um, it is permanently attached, so it just kind of mounts. Let me show you. It mounts right there on his shoulder. There's a little peg, a uh, little square peg hole, and you just push it down. So basically how it works, you just kind of rotate the side here. And you can kind of see it. There we go. So it just kind of fires, and then... With pushing them in, you just gotta make sure that one tips in, but it just kind of sits in there. And that's it. So it's pretty uh, a simple but fun little, you know, project shooting projectile. It shoots them hard enough, you can hear it, um, but you can probably rotate it pretty quick and just do like, let's try that. Just do like a machine gun. Like, oh, I'm not very fast. Or is it? Why isn't it firing? I break it. The heck that could be it it's too old it's not firing the last one. Oh well well enough of that anyway so we'll go ahead and go over the details um i'll take this big gun off so you can see it kind of just kind of has this pliable but oh, i'm just kind of all over the place guys all right so we'll go and check out the little laser cannon gun um it's got it's you know kind of got like a gatling gun look to me See, it's just kind of got a bar, it goes across. Got the nice uh, kind of ruby red uh, along the sides here. And then it's just got some little, you know, gold uh, paint applications along with a little red button. And to kind of give it that, you know, futuristic look. But looks pretty cool. And it does rotate, uh, which is nice. You can see it rotates on here. I wish that other one would fire. That really bugs me. Ah. But it's not really the main you know, selling point of this figure. Um, this little pack just came off too. So he does also, we'll go ahead and go over that then. He does have this little backpack um, that just kind of plugs in as you can see. It's kind of almost reminds me of Ghostbusters. It's got the little gold. Some more of the red ruby quartz uh, paint applications, kind of more of a, just kind of a shinier red uh, along with the gunmetal backpack. And it's got a little plastic red cord that goes from the backpack to his head. And it also has another cord that goes to his wrist. But overall, the head sculpt's not um, not too bad. It's got it's kind of a paler uh, flesh tone, but you can see the visor looks good. It's nice and red. It's got uh, gray paint applications around the visor. I like the visor because it is clear plastic red, so it's got a nice uh, shine to it and light since it's supposed to illuminate. And it's got his hair is nicely sculpted. You can see some of the brown with the black. But overall, I mean, his head rotates, which is nice. But overall, it's a good, uh, different, you know, looking Cyclops head. I wouldn't say it's a bad Cyclops look. I think it looks pretty cool. And going over his suit, I actually really like this suit. Even though the articulation's kind of goofy, but I, I just like these fun variants, especially with X-Men classics. Um, it's just a, I don't know, I like this plated armor. It's nice, shiny, uh, red, you know, kind of a ruby red on the chest and shoulders here. But it's just kind of a flat black. You can see, like, the undersuit with the little lines. Um... 
and then you can see uh, it's got some more of that ruby quartz uh, red on his shoulders here, a little bit of gold, and it kind of continues on its back. On the shoulders here, I like this too, it's got a little X logo. There, hopefully the camera's focusing, there we go, you can see it on that side too. It's a nice little X on his chest, gold with the black background. And coming down his biceps, you can just see it's more of that gold quartz uh, paint. And then on the form, you can see some of the wrinkles on the black suit. But it just kind of continues the same thing with on the chest here. And coming down here, I like how this black wash kind of spray kind of comes over the plated armor. Um, just looks good. It's got nice uh, gold little sides here, on the, kind of like for a belt or clips of the armor. And it's got gold knees. You can definitely see this leg's warped. Um, and coming down the bound by the shoes, you can see it's got some more goldy plate on the shoes, more black wash on the shins here. But overall, it's really cool looking. I like his boots, kind of like little space boots. <laughs> but it's got more of like a, uh, I wouldn't say it's got a metal, but like a lighter gray metallic on the shoes. Looks pretty cool. All right, so we'll get into the articulation. So his head does not look up. I don't want to break it. Uh, it does look left and right. Uh, it's kind of limited because that cord doesn't look up or down. Uh, it's got ball joints in the shoulders, but they are... Ooh, maybe not. Nope. They do not go out. It's just a little loose. So you can move forward and back. Uh, it's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Um, his arm's kind of loose. Uh, wrist rotation. Also forearm articulation or rotation. Um, <laughs> hinge at the wrist. And he does have the hand clamp articulation along with the, you know, optic blast pose. Uh, it does have a little ab crunch, but it is solid. There we go. It crunches not very far and moves back a little bit, but we'll probably rub the pain off in time. Got a waist swivel. Whoops, hitting missiles. Uh, he's got ball joints in the um, upper legs, so you can move out. It's about that much. This part does hinder it. It does um, end up bumping into there. Uh, you can move forward. God, that leg is really warped. <laughs> it's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Uh, it's got a boot rotation. It's a little loose, but it's kind of, I like how it's kind of hidden like that. It's not as noticeable. Ankles move back a little bit, move up. It does have a little bit of an ankle rocker right there. Toe articulation and peggles the bottom of his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Optic Blast or Optic Blast Ruby Quartz Cyclops is. Alright guys, so Optic Blast, Ruby Quartz, Cyclops stand, just a little, like right a little over uh, six in it, six inches tall. So he's not completely up straight because he'll fall over, but he's just probably a little over, a tad over six inches, not by much. But we'll go ahead and bring in the Stealth Cyclops from the same line of X-Men Classics. Let's see, get them next to each other. This guy, I believe, still, actually I think he broke, if I remember right. Oh, his gun lights up, but not his eyes anymore. <laughs> These poor old figures. Come on, guy, please stand up. All right, so you got the Stealth Cyclops. We'll bring in the X-Men box set Cyclops. And then the old Toy Biz X-Factor Cyclops. So you can get these nice little variations. But overall, he's still the same height as all the older uh, Cyclopses and newer Cyclopses. But there you go, guys. That's my fun little review of the Ruby Quartz X-Men Classic Cyclops. Um, please leave a comment. Hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. I think he's pretty fun, but not a must-have. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Take care. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Bye.